you. The government is giving billions to the nation's banks, as many of you know, to modify struggling homeowners' mortgages, help avoid foreclosures, and keep as many Americans in their homes as possible. But are the banks trying to hamper those efforts because they want to get their hands on your money and your house? What are your rights? Let's ask Ed Butowski. He's a managing partner of Chapwood Capital Investment Management and creator of the Chapwood Portfolio Investment. Thanks for joining us today, sir. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Let's get right to the question here. Why in the world would banks who are receiving billions of dollars from the government uh, try to hamper the rights of every American trying to get some sort of modification on their loans? It sounds sinister, but are they hoping for that, that they'll allow these people to go into foreclosure? And if so, why? Well, Kelly, that, that's, it's, it's really a great question, and it's something that I think everybody's trying to get their hands around. And I don't think it is quite as prevalent as people are making it out to sound. Banks make money, real simple, by having loans and having people pay those loans. And why they would go out and try to recapture some of these houses, really is something that I'm not exactly sure. And the only thing I could think of is that they've written some of these things off of the, their books. They want to go back out, bring those in, and then maybe sell them at profits. But I really don't think that that is happening that often. The problem I do think is happening, and the people who do make money by foreclosures, are those mortgage services companies. Those companies are out there servicing your mortgage, but built into those contracts, they are going to make a windfall when those when when homes come back into uh, the bank and when they are foreclosed on so that I think is where the problem is I don't think it really is those banks Kelly well Ed, you make a very good point let's talk about the difference between banks and the mortgage uh, uh, service lenders because those mortgage lenders can actually yeah. sell those loans am I right to investors so they obviously want to make some sort of profit well, that, that does happen. Those are the, there's, there are so many different parts to this, Kelly, and that's why it's so confusing. And I think anybody who's in a situation where they're getting close to feeling the pinch on their mortgage, they need to really get a handle on what the, who the different players are and how to utilize the system to help them keep that house. Because I will tell you, I don't think the banks want your house. I think the banks don't want it because it takes a lot of their capital, their cash reserves. It takes a lot of their manpower. They're in the business of making loans. And if they want to lower those mortgages, they're going to do it. But don't forget for a moment that they mm -hmm. are they are are absolutely in a for-profit business and they do not want that house back and if they lower it they might not lower it as much as you want but get out in front of the problem before it becomes a real problem for and, you and that's a good, good point Ed because we hear things like short sale yeah. loan modification getting out of an ARM or right. armed rate, adjustable rate mortgage uh, for those who don't know and then getting into some sort of fixed mortgage but having said that Ed it would appear that some banks or so, sorry some mortgage lenders are basically stating hey it, it, we're not going to help you we're not going to comply with the government, we're, we're going to go ahead and foreclose on you. So what do those, those mortgage lenders have to gain by doing that? Well, again, a lot of people are saying that, but I think what you're really looking at is they're in the business of making these loans. I think the people who are saying that are the ones who just don't qualify um, on any level, and they're not going to do business with somebody if they don't qualify. They can only bring those loans right. down so much. Like I want, you know, that, that's what really it is. It's not so much of a problem uh, that they don't want to do that. It's just you have to be qualified in order to get it modified. So you're saying some people aren't qualified to get it done. But let me ask you this question real quickly. Uh, let's say a homeowner who's trying okay. their best to find themselves, uh, they find themselves in a situation like this and yet they're trying their best to get that loan modification what's your advice to them should they not qualify well, if they don't qualify, then you know what? Then they have to really rethink where they're going to live and how much they paid for that house. I mean, sometimes, in a, especially in an economy like this, Kelly, there are some tough choices you have to make. And some of those choices might be, I can't afford this house. I need to sell it and leave and go find something else. Those are you know, some of the negative things that happen in an economy like this. And it also happens because some people overbought and overpaid for houses. That's the other problem. And that is the unfortunate problem because those people overbought and overpaid for their houses, uh, some of them, oh, a lot of them, are out of their jobs now and they don't have the income coming in to stay afloat. Uh, Ed Butowski, thanks for sharing your insights with us, sir. Have a great day. Well, Absolutely. Thank you.